talking to you by then you would. I have to get upstairs right now before. She's wearing the same clothes. Who's that? Well, we're wearing new, different clothes. Who's that? She looks sleepy to me. Yeah, that one there. Who is that? Mom, Dad! You got caught, kid? You know what helps, though? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is ridiculous. Are you really going to make me explain myself? What do you think? Yes. Yes. Okay, then fine. I have this boot on. I am hobbled. As a person who is hobbled, all I can do is talk. I can't run. I can't hike. And you know what? This boot is fantastic. What do you want to do today, Maya? It's not about today. It's about last night. All we did was talk. Okay. Lucas, I'm not allowed to talk. Trey, Tim. You can talk to whoever you want, Riley. Maya, I'll take care of it. It'll be fine. I'm really sorry, Riley. But I didn't really like staying up with you all night. Thank you, Evan, but maybe we shouldn't say that out loud. You're wearing the same clothes. You look sleepy to me. Who's that? That one there, who's that? <laughs> mind over me in front of the firelight, but is it cool if I sit down? You can take chances. You know that Riley was just talking to that guy, right? I know. I saw. She's got that big clunky boot on, okay? She'd probably have trouble falling asleep anyway, so all she did was stay up and talk to some guy. Would you stop saying that? Why? Why does it bother you that she talked to someone? Do you remember when we all first met? In the subway? And then I came into your school, and... Riley and I tried to be boyfriend and girlfriend, but we weren't ready for that. So then you and I tried, and you poured a smoothie on my head? Best date ever. Why did you pour a smoothie on my head? Start to understand your own feelings. Oh, we just need some roadmaps to begin to understand who we are. How is it possible that Maya and I like the same boy? I'd be more surprised if you didn't. Why? It's not hard to notice Maya's been going through some stuff lately. Yeah. She hasn't been herself for a while. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because she became like me. I always wanted to be her, and then she became like me. Now, why would she do that? Huh? Why would someone give up who they are to be more like someone else? Could you just tell me? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've got a pretty good guess. Look, you guys are the best friends I've ever seen. Okay, you love each other so much, you want to share each other's experiences. I do. Everything you do is to protect each other. But she gave up who she was. You went looking for her. You got her back. You protected her. Yeah, but why did she get lost in the first place? Why did she want to become like me? Why do we like the same boy? You don't, Riley. You don't. She's been trying to protect you. Smoothie on Lucas. Why'd you want to be me, huh? I felt like I needed to make sure what you were feeling. About what? I don't know. Okay, all of a sudden we're in high school. We're feeling things, we're growing up. I just wanted to make sure what you were feeling. You can't just ask me? Not about this kind of stuff. Why not? Because you don't even know what you're feeling. We're letting boys into our lives. How do I know if he's the right guy for you? How do I know if he's good enough? You're the only one who's good enough for me. Miss you always. We're going to 
going to talk to each other? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, did you tell us between Riley and Maya? I did. Now I got a question for you. Who is it? No. Come on, who? No. What does it mean that Riley spent the whole night talking to some other guy? Well, it could mean Riley's not interested in you anymore. It could mean that? Well, you are insecure for a Western hero. <laughs> <laughs> or it could mean that she just enjoys talking to someone. I don't like that you know anything. <laughs> I wonder what you guys talked about. I told her what I wanted to do with my life. Oh, no, she loves that. <laughs> I've never told anyone before. She loves that, too. What did you tell her? I told her I wanted to be a Sherpa. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> I like helping people get to places and never thought they could go. Is that a Sherpa guidebook? This? This is a game we're going to play. We've had it kind of counter for years. Yeah, I'm going to read you some questions from this book. It's called The Official Guide to Who Belongs With Who. The book's gonna tell us? No! <laughs> I remember that book. <sighs> that book is evil. <laughs> the first question is, if you could change your mate into one animal, what would it be? And the only answer is, the falcon. <laughs> How do you know that? Because I am the falcon! <laughs> Let's play. Let's find out who belongs with him. Don't do it. Nobody do it. <laughs> no one ever listens to the falcon. <laughs> you all deserve what you get. <laughs>